everybody, it's Gwen. Welcome back to my channel. Today's guys and tell from the title, I am here to bring you all another album review. It's been a hot minute since I've done an album review. This is actually my first one of the year and we're almost like halfway through the year. So uh, apologies. As a lot of you guys know, I like to take my time with these. So today I'm gonna to be reviewing Kings of the New Age by State Champs. This is their new album that came out at the beginning of May. So it's been out for like almost a month now and you guys know I like to let you know albums marinate. Um, but yeah, I've been excited to review this one. I was really excited for this album, uh, State Champs My Hometown Boys. And this is, this is like what their fourth or fifth album now. Like they're a pretty old pop punk band, you know, like very well known in the 2010s and now like even into the new decade. So um, yeah, as some of you guys might know, when I do these, I typically will go through my opinions on each song. And at the end, I will share my overall thoughts on the album. So without further ado, let's jump into this. The first song on the album is Here to Stay, and I personally associate this with being like the title track of the album, even though I realize it's not. It's just that it starts out with them saying, the kings of the new age, the wrong time, the right place. You know, like it literally starts with them saying the kings of the new age. I think they easily just could have called this one kings of the new age, but maybe they didn't want to be basic and have a title track. But like, I'm sure I'm not the only one, you know, that associates this as a title track. But I think it's a really great opening to the album, um, kind of sets the tone. And uh, the instrumentation in this song reminds me of something that would have been on Around the World and Back, which is, you know, their album that came out back in 2015. Derek also has like a little bit of raspiness in his voice, which I think is partially why as well. Um, and you know, that's not as common in their music now as it was in their older music. The chorus is super catchy, and like I said, it really sets the tone for this album very well. The next song is Eventually, and uh, heavier drums in this one, which I really enjoy. It's definitely one of the more like lyrically driven songs on the album. It has both like fast and slow parts, and like the chorus and the pre-chorus is really fast, but then the bridge is slow, which I noticed they were kind of doing that a lot in this album, but I really like it in this song. Um, I think it's a complex song, one of the more complex ones on the album, especially compared to, like I said, others on this album, but also just stuff on the last album, which the biggest critique of the last album from big, like, longtime Champs fans was that it wasn't very complex, and it was just, like, very poppy and very, like, whoa, whoa, like, you know, that's what people say about Living Proof. I love Living Proof, personally, I think it's a great album, but I also understand those critiques and totally agree like they are valid um but that album was still very fun for me so my point is i think that this song does a really good job of being complex and kind of you know getting out of that comfort zone that they fell into with the last album the third song is everybody but you um this features ben from neck deep and uh one of the singles i think this one was the last single and it's a very smart single because it has a super catchy hook that got really popular on tiktok like more popular than their other singles from this album i literally i think like learned about this song from tiktok and i think a lot of people did and it really helped them with like the marketing and branding and excitement for this album so good job with their marketing team <laughs> i don't know if they planned that but it worked out well um you know it has a really catchy hook uh, very much like a summer song in my mind and it's you know uh, it's a done with you song like a leaving a toxic person behind it's about like throwing a party with inviting everybody but you you know like somebody that you don't like it seems like a classic stage champ song with like that quiet catchy hook in the beginning that like repeats again louder later in the song you know they've done this before um, but I think it really works Derek sounds like a little angry in this song which adds to its fire and like goes with the theme of like being about a toxic person and uh there's also the part where um i think ben from neck deep does sing this part in the bridge where he's like you really got to be at the party singing part of me like is that a neck deep reference like i'm betting it is you know to their song a part of me and i love it every time i hear it i laugh i'm like i love that they added that in there so i'm assuming that's a reference unless i'm like hearing the lyric wrong but i'm pretty sure so i like that i like ben's feature and i think it works out well the fourth song is Out of My Head. This was the second single that came out for the album. And uh, it also begins the song with like a super catchy hook that repeats. I kind of wish it wasn't like right behind another song on the album that does the exact same thing. I wish they spaced it out because then it sounds like very repetitive and, and like too formulaic. Like they could have, I don't know. I don't think they should have put these back to back personally because um, it just seems too predictable. 
but it is still a very catchy song that I like to sing along to. I think I saw this one at Riot Fest last year. Um, I'm pretty sure they played it. I think it had been out for that long, and if I remember correctly, it was really fun live. The fifth song is Fake It, and uh, this one is not particularly memorable for me. I honestly like forget about this song a lot on the album. I don't know if anyone else does, but I just forget this one exists. It doesn't really do much for me right now, but I realize like that could definitely change with more listens. The best part is the bridge where that chorus is repeated and you could just imagine like the crowd clapping, you know, at like that part in the show because there's like a, a very distinct like beat in the background that I feel like would just, they would want everyone to like clap during that part I think at a show. The sixth song is Half Empty and this features Chrissy from Against the Current, which I guessed. I did not know what her name was, but I heard this song the first time and I was like, I know that voice. What do I know that voice? And I was like, oh my god, I am betting you it's the girl from Against the Current. And it was. I don't even listen to that much Against the Current, but I was very proud of myself that I knew that. The instrumentation, I think, is the most exciting part of the song for me. I'm not really crazy impressed by the lyrics, um, but I do like the way Derek sings, and I really like the beat and the instrumentation that are used in the song. And I like Chrissy singing in the bridge. I think it adds to a nice touch. It uh, reminds me of the song Around the World and Back, which was like the slow song of that album, because it had another female feature. So it's kind of giving me like sister song to that, which I enjoy. The seventh song is Just Sound, and this was the first single that was released a while before the album came out. Like, I definitely heard this one at Riot Fest last September, um, and like, it was actually more of a crowd pleaser than I expected at Riot Fest. Like, everyone was loving it, and I've been out for maybe a few months, I don't know, did this come out last, like, summer or something? I don't know, I feel like this has been out for a long time. Um, and the chorus is super catchy, though I don't really understand exactly what he's saying at some points of the chorus. And I don't really understand like the meaning of the song. <laughs> like, I don't know, just sound. It's a very weird phrase. It's an odd like name for a song, but it's catchy and people seem to like it. So I can't really complain. Um, it reminds me a lot of a Living Proof era song, which I'm not mad at. It came right after that era, right? It was the first single after that era, pretty much. So it's understandable. And uh, yeah, it's pretty fun. The eighth song is Act Like That. This song is super cute. It's like a love song, but it has a little bit of a beat, you know, so it's still like upbeat. And um, personally though, I have to say, I'm not living for the feature in this song, which is Mitchell Tenpenny, which I think is like a country guy. I looked him up, he's pretty big. I had never heard of him. But um, I think the feature just comes out of nowhere in the middle of the bridge. Like it didn't need it. It just seemed like there were too many features on the album and I'll get into that later. But I think it just kind of ruins the end of the song. The song is super cute. I'm like, all oh, these lyrics are adorable. I'm vibing. And then like he just comes in randomly with his like, country like accent and I'm like I, 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 what? we didn't need you <laughs> like I don't know why they thought they needed so many features on this album and I don't know I just I think the feature kind of ruins the end of the song for me the ninth song is where were you um, which is casual with a fun beat it reminds me of like basically a bunch of other state champ songs molded together like new songs old songs and I'm sure if I thought about it long enough I could figure out exactly which those were but yeah, it's just like typical state champs. Like, I don't know, it just sounds like a bunch of other state champ songs melded together. Um, I don't really know what to explain it, it's just typical champs. And I haven't seen a lot of people talk about this one, so let me know what your thoughts are about this song, because you know, nobody seems to be mentioning it. The tenth song is Sundress. This features Four Year Strong, and uh, this is a lot of people's favorite song on the album. It's like cute, summery love lyrics. Like I can see why people like it. It's definitely one of my favorite songs lyrically on the album. I think it's an impressive lyrical song. And um, it's valid, I think, you know, to be talked about as much as it is, but I almost wish it was earlier on the album. For as great as it is, I don't see why it had to be so far down. And um, yeah, I don't know. I just think they could have like put it up earlier because I think it's a good song and some of these other ones that are before it I don't think are as good and um, I don't know. I feel like people wouldn't listen to it as much if it um, because it's so far down in the album. I don't know. Just my thought, but I do think it's a really good song. Uh, everyone's love with it is like totally valid because I get it. I'm here for it. And the last song on the album is Some Minds Don't Change, which I think is an underrated song on the album. Um, I really like this one and once again, like nobody talks about it. I really like that it ends the album. I love the way Derek sings on this one. He holds like longer notes during the chorus, but then he almost like talks during the verses. It's very quick, but it's really satisfying to the ear and I just love that contrast of like holding out these long notes in the chorus, but like having quick verses. The way he's speaking and singing, I don't know, it's 
it's great. I wish they would do more of it. I really like it. Like this seems like a little bit of an experimental song on the album. They didn't really jump much out of their comfort zone, I think, for this album, but I do like this song, and I think that this song, like, you could tell they were kind of having fun and playing around with it, and I really like that it ends the album. It, it ends it on, like, a very happy note with him just ending saying, like, some minds don't change. I think that's the end, and yeah, I don't know. It's a really satisfying ending, so I think this one's a little underrated. So those are all the songs on Kings of the New Age. My overall thoughts of this new State Champs album is I think it's a catchy album, um, similar to Living Proof in that sense. I would not compare it to Around the World and Back, the finer things. I think it's like closely related to their last album, Living Proof. My one complaint is there's no like slow songs on the album. Um, like even in Living Proof, we have slow song like Time Machine, which I know like a lot of people hate that song. <laughs> like. People really, really think that's like the worst song on the album, and I do agree, but it's like, at least it's there. I don't know how to describe it. Like, I feel like they could have put a slow song on the album, and I actually initially guessed that Sundress was going to be slow, the way people were talking about it on Twitter. I thought, oh, Sundress, that sounds almost like, like, summery and mellow and slow and cute. And while it is a really cute song, and it's a great song, it's not a slow song. There's really, like, no slow songs on the album, and it kind of just seems like a very, like, repetitive similar beat undertone of the whole album which is nice in the sense that like it meshes together very well listening to it all the way through in order it, it goes together very well but i don't know i want something something slow so that was my really my one complaint um my other complaint like i've mentioned is there's a lot of features <laughs> four features like and and all the features, they just show up in the bridge for like a couple of lines and then they leave. Like, I, I don't think it was needed. I think that the two features that were really strong were Ben's from Neck Deep and then, you know, Chrissy's from Against the Current. I think those two features were strong. I don't think the other two were needed. The Country Dude and then Four Years Strong, I don't think those features were needed. Um, you know, State Champs is a big name now and they can get big people to feature on their songs. Like, that's cool, and you're proving that's cool, but it doesn't mean you need to always do it. I think it's becoming a little overused, and yeah, so that's just my thought. But uh, those are kind of my two big stinks with the album. Um, I do think it's catchy. I've only listened to it for like a month, like I said, so these opinions can change in terms of my you know opinions on each song. And I'm going to keep listening to it. It definitely is, um, you know, a good like summer vibe kind of album like Living Proof was. You know, they're going to be touring for it um, at Sad Summerfest, I believe, which I don't know if I'm going to. But um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see what the uh, touring process is like and if they're actually going to do like a legit maybe fall tour or like next year's spring tour for this album because I think that'd be great. They're amazing live. I always go and see them live and uh, you know, I always want to support them because they're my hometown boys and it's interesting to see kind of what direction they're going. They're feeding off of Living Proof and continuing in that that popular direction. So we'll see how much these songs grow on me. I'm gonna keep listening to the album, but uh, those are my overall thoughts. So there you guys go. Those are my thoughts on State Champs' new album, Kings of the New Age. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Tell me your favorite song and tell me your overall thoughts on the album. And you know, if you like this direction they're going, if you wish it was older, you know, I always say Finer Things era was the best. That is the best album I've ever written. It is like so pop punk and grunge and I listen to it and I just I'm amazed it's the same guys, to be honest. I don't mean that in a mean way, but I just don't feel like they're ever going to get back to that sound, and it's sad. But I have been embracing their new sound the last few years, and I am enjoying it. So, yeah, that's my opinion on their new album. Please give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed. And other than that, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!